My name's Sapper Lindsay Nizeri. I'm a military engineer fabricator with the Royal Engineers. I was 25 when I joined the Army. I just wanted a change of lifestyle. I'd worked in offices and um, just generally worked, lived an average civilian life and just wanted to change something different and exciting and the, the, the Army was able to offer me that. I chose to um, join the Royal Engineers because they were offering a trade. Um, I can't join the infantry as a female anyway, um, but I did want to get a trade from the armed forces, so that's why I chose the Royal Engineers. And you're also, you kind of get three trades with the engineers because you're a soldier first, um, then you're a combat engineer, and then you have your trade as well, so you're quite useful to the army as a whole. I chose to do fabrication as my trade because I found it that it was an interesting trade and it's very useful as a civilian as well. Um, you can get to higher levels and get good pay out of it. I know a lot of apprentices go to college. Um, they get certain amounts of funding, but we get a full wage whilst we're training and we get amazing workshops to work in. All the equipment that we have is, is up to date, modern equipment, and we've got free use of it, obviously with instructor's permission and guidance, but yeah, there's a lot available in the army and you get paid, so that is definitely a bonus. It, it takes nine months on the first stage. Altogether, it's 18 months to get your full trade. I can't speak for the whole female population in the army, but you prove yourself throughout your training anyway that you're worthy of your spot with the guys. And once you've got to this stage, you know, they've seen that you can do the same job that they're doing anyway. So there's no, you don't get any problems whatsoever. It's quite good fun. To find out more about becoming a military apprentice, visit armyjobs.mod.uk.